door and it's upstairs now. This is the master bedroom. You can see the floors are in pretty good shape all around. Probably just need a bit of a sand. It's the bathroom. Um, skylight. Doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. Walls need to be redone. Looks like a newer bath. Floors obviously need to be redone. Looks like it was a shower at one point. They made it into a closet. And you can see the banister looks pretty good. This is uh, an extra closet in the hallway. This is the second bedroom. Ceilings look pretty good. Floors look pretty good. Windows. Probably needs new windows. Here's the closet. Walk through into the third bedroom. Another closet in here, and then we'll walk downstairs. And um, walking back in the kitchen, and we'll start to work work our way back. Uh, there's a back door here. I'm not sure where that goes to, but I can check it out when I leave here. Go to the back. This is the kitchen area. Needs new floors. Obviously needs a whole new footprint in here. Uh, kind of that pock ceiling, so the ceilings will have to be redone. Uh, walk into the, uh, I guess you would call this the dining room area. Um, got a little character here and another closet. This goes into the basement. Uh, as you can see, the basement is not finished. Pretty high ceilings though. Could definitely finish it down here. Um, at least have a couple rooms. Looks relatively Right, I see some water damage here. Not quite sure where that came from. Probably came from that bathroom, which I'll show you in a minute. Here's the utility closet. So it looks like the you'll have to redo all that. We need new mechanics in here. Um, I'm not seeing see a little bit of activity here, so I'm not quite sure. A lot of knob and tube wiring. Definitely have to do a lot of electrical work in here. So this is a door, it looks like it probably goes to the uh, garage, but I can't get that open. Um, there's, it looks like they built a bathroom here at one point. Definitely doesn't make me want to have to take a shower right now. And now we're going back into uh, the upstairs of the main room. And we'll work our way back out of the house. So here we are. I see a lot of patchwork that had to be done. I'm not sure if there was water damage or what was going on. Um, and then, you know, a lot of character and French doors, which are really nice, into yet another room. There's a lot of square footage here. And a lot of nice things you can do with the house. And then back to the front door. Open the door here to re exit. Make sure I have the key. And I do. We'll put that away and we'll pull that door shut. And go to the roof to see if there's any kind of roof damage or anything but uh, you know this little area could be cleaned up here is the uh, front of the house you can kind of see the face of the house 1852 right there and uh, there's a bit of the street view I'll give you in just a sec here 
So it's kind of a not too bad neighborhood. All right, so we'll walk around to the back here and see if we can find where the um, the alleyway is, and then to what would be the garage. Not a lot of activity here at night. It feels pretty safe to be walking around. Although, oh, little kitty. So this would probably be the back of the house here. Um, so it looks like we'd have to put a new garage door on it, but it's got parking. Alright, so that's pretty much it. You see the back of the house here. So we're signing off.